Ballard's relationship to the movie, I mean, the movie is based on Ballard, right? It's based yes. on his exploits going around the world rescuing, uh, you know, young. This is like if this is this is like every QAnon or even just like MAGA dumbasses like secret dream, right? Because it combines two of their favorite things. One, being a guy who acts like a special forces guy but isn't in the military. Yes. Uh, and two – like being like a literal like knight and going around and mm. rescuing you know like innocent people from oftentimes Latino types. And I'm gonna throw in a third thing that uh, it also includes, which is another favorite fan favorite. What crowd participation? Crowd participation. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I would say Operation Underground Railroad. What, which is, it's really hard for me to say railroad, by the way. Railroad. It's another one of those, like, real world. Real, like, okay. I get a little mumbly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's like QAnon meets Black Rifle Coffee so meets Twitch Stream Charity Drive yes. meets Project Veritas mm-hmm. meets GoFundMe. That's right. For catching pedophiles. Yeah. And, the, you know, and they, you might be like, that sounds like Drunon, and which I say, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. I'll never catch anybody. <laughs> Do you know how many years I've been smoking? Listen to me. I couldn't. The only thing I can catch is pneumonia again, probably. But um, <coughs> keep it in. Yeah, they got really big. I remember hearing about them during the Trump era. It was. It wasn't just them. There was like several of them. Yes. During the during the Trump era, and, like scammy anti trafficking organization. Yeah, I remember. God, I remember watching the videos. I might have been O U R, but I don't know if it was. Uh, some guys in like Arizona, basically going to what was like a homeless encampment and being mm. like, "Look, here's a clue. There was ch- children trafficked here because they'd find like a shoe or something." <laughs> uh, you know, it was it was one of those things that like. It, like Ballard himself is is such like a clear. I mean, anybody who has any semblance of a normal fucking you know, thought pattern in their head is looking at this guy like hey, you know you're. I know you're a fucking scam artist, right? And uh, he was like he was he was really positioning himself as like the number one civilian warfighter, child trafficker, yeah. anti child trafficker <laughs> that there was. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, he would say like, okay, we work with law enforcement agencies, prosecutors, CIA, Homeland Security. Like everyone's all here. We're tra- we're here tracking down all the child sex traffickers. And, you know, they, he kind of made himself a celebrity. Like, he was, like, on fucking ESPN. Yeah. He became this, like, sort of quasi-White House-sponsored yeah. public-private chair of some anti-trafficking uh, org that was directed by the White House, basically. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah During yeah. the Trump ad men. You know, he got famous kind of really— um, pitching these wild stories of just like, you know, going through the jungles of the Caribbean to find these like women in, you know, padlocked huts that he would then rescue and like, yeah. you know, through get on a helicopter and, you know, take to safety. And, He's Captain save a hoe Yeah, I mean like, you know, he'd say, oh, we were able to get them out and get the visas through the White House. Like these yeah. crazy claims yeah. that are obviously easily debunked. And just like... Uh, you just know it's not true. You know, it's, you know, like it's like you hear shit like this, and it's like whenever. I mean, I, I, this is what drives me crazy about this stuff. You hear so many of these fucking guys telling these stories that you're like, wow, this really sounds like something that you would make up to like impress other people, or like that you would make up to like trick a fucking idiot. Yeah, and so many people do fall for it. Totally. And I mean, like, he would basically get people to kind of buy into all of these stories instead and, like, repeat it through what he called sizzle reels, which is a thing. It's a thing. It's a real thing. I mean, classically, a sizzle reel is, you know, kind of like quick edit that you put together to market yourself to studios mm-hmm. or casting agents or producers or whatever yeah. when they're looking to cast something or they're looking to hire you to or like camera work or something like that. But it's like your little like video CV of all of your your quick hits. Yeah, it's right? like you walking down the runway, you turn your head behind, he's doing the, it's like the yeah. Zoolander. Ooh, you're sizzling. He's doing a Zoolander. But um, that, the the concept of the sizzle reel like was like really key to his conception of how OUR was going to kind of like reach mass, Yeah, you know, mass popularity. And there's like, you know, Vice did a bunch of, um, like pretty intense 
investigative work into the org. Like over the years, I'd say, like starting in the Trump during the Trump years. Yeah, they followed it really closely. Yeah, and they found that they had a great little like um, screenshot or a photo of a whiteboard that they said was drawn by Tim Ballard. I mean, I don't think there's any reason not be. And in it, he kind of is like drawing a map of how he en- uh, envisions this content, what he calls the sizzle reel, like really kind of electrifying viewers and getting yeah. them to kind of buy into this, you know, big nasty, um, you know, vision he has for the OUR organization. I mean, and his tactics were basically like he would sort of glom himself on to existing anti-trafficking operations or outright lie wholesale yeah, totally. that he was involved, which is, I think, most of the time. Yeah. would just completely fabricate his involvement in actual anti-trafficking stuff or would fabricate raids in general. Like, they never happened ever. Yeah. And uh, and people would just kind of like, I mean, again, like Vice, you know, credit where credit's due, Vice did do a lot of investigation of this and was like, it's obviously like he's lying about a bunch yeah, of this Yeah, totally. Shit. But he still got this huge degree of um, success because one of the things that you can do if you're a guy like this, especially if you're sort of parallel to the QAnon sphere, is you can be like, well, they're lying about me because it's the media. You yeah. Know what I mean, and they're on the side of the pedophiles. And you can also raise a lot of money yes. through live streams, through videos, through donations, through all of these kind of like outreach networks that they were establishing. And I think, you know, during his time at, with OUR, because OUR has now since distanced themselves from Ballard. Yes. Um, but Ballard was taking in like 500K a year. Yeah, he was making bank. 